So, one thing I did want to do before we power this up, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, was actually to make sure that the mains is grounded. So we've got a grounded mains lead. I'm going to plug it into the unit. And the switch shouldn't have any bearing. I'll put my meter to beat mode. Right. So, one on the case, one on the ground. So it's not beeping, which means it's not a very good ground, but it is only 10 ohms, so it is kind of grounded, but I'm actually not happy with that, so I'm going to quickly take the power supply off and have a quick look. So here's the connection, so we can see that the, the ground of the socket is connected to the ground of the power supply, but there is not a solid connection to the, the ground. So decided to dig a little deeper, pulled open the power supply. The ground connection is indeed connected to one end of this capacitor, runs along here, under this, and back along and actually literally goes under this screw here uh, with a pad so it should be screwed through to the case because these are screwed into the metal of the case but what I did notice on the bottom is there's, I don't know if you can see it in there, there's a great big sheet of plastic underneath the PCB and it looks like it's just nipped a little bit in where that screw is so I'm going to see if I can just slacken the screw move the plastic away a little bit and tighten it up and see if that gives me a proper connection so it was just sitting between the standoff and the PCB, just enough probably to create a slight gap. In when it was tightened down, it made just a marginal contact. So now I'm just going to screw it up and see if it fixes the problem. And yes, it does. So now when I connect to the case of the power supply, let me just bring it down here a little bit so you can see. I'm on the ground pin. Actually, let me go on the ground pin of the socket. And I connect to the metal. I'm reading 0.2 ohms now. See if I can show you that. There you go, 0.15 ohms. So that's what the problem was. Just a tiny, tiny detail in assembly of the power supply and caused us to have a slightly suspect ground. So now we fixed that, we put it back together. So reassembled, one final check. Ground pin. And let's pick a random place on the actual printer. So we'll go Zoom out so you can see what I'm doing, so you know I'm not cheating. Right, ground on the plug, and we'll pick a piece of the chassis up here. And we've got continuity, and we're reading 0.8 ohms all the way up to there. So, excellent. Now we're good to power up, and fun stuff like that.